Hi guys. <sighs> this is another reflection. Ugh. Put the camera somewhere. There you go. I think that's good. Uh, I could hold it in my hands, but my hands are gonna fall off. Hi oh, baby. Hi my love. One second, puppy love. I love this. Uh, 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 you know, uh, no, 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 no. Look, she begs when she wants something. No, 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 no. What are you doing? No, Nefties. No, no. That's how she begs. She's such a ham. <laughs> look at her, look at her. Look, she's like, she's like, she's like, all right, thank you. No, please, can I stay? Can I stay? <laughs> you know, you're not supposed to be here. <laughs> All right, she can stay. All right, you can stay. I don't... <laughs> look, look, look. Okay, 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 I have better. Okay. All right. Uh, she's staring at me. Now that we've been distracted, now that she can stay, let's talk. Uh, okay, look, it was meant to be reflection time. And, oh crap, the camera is falling apart. <laughs> what a fucking mess. Alright, alright. Oh my god, that is okay, enough. Um, look, I was feeling a little gray, I mean, a little down, but now I feel much better. Thanks to my little dog here. No, what I wanted to say is I was feeling a little anxious. <laughs> Stop. I was feeling a little anxious. And, um,. <laughs> It's 9 p.m. I don't understand. What do you want? It's 9 p.m. It's bedtime. We go to bed at 9 here. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just spent the, look, the first two minutes of this video is just me and my dog. I apologize, okay? Let's stay focused and let's stay on track. Let's start over. Hi guys, um, I wanted to do a reflection because I was feeling very anxious and uh, once again a little frustrated. So we have a tenant hold of a court. We, we focus. We have a tenant hold of a court coming up soon, and it is uh, nerve wracking. And I explain to you why because um, I have been researching a lot about the law, about the legalese when it comes to um, just the, the law around the tenancy, uh, residential uh, real estate, and how the process, how the court processes work. I need to know how the court processes work. We do have a lawyer, it's great, but I also need to understand the basic, right? Because just because you have a lawyer doesn't mean you have a good lawyer. It doesn't mean a lawyer doesn't make mistakes. It doesn't mean the lawyer is human. So you need to have your wits about you, even if you have a lawyer, right? You need to be able to understand if your lawyer says you something. Anyway, you need to know what is going on, especially when you are involved, okay? So as a result of that, I have been researching and reading a lot. And in my research, I have found out that a lot of judges are forcefully and wrongfully, I might add, pushing this new law that was legislatively put in place temporarily due to the pandemic um, in Maryland. And that law is called Just Cause. So the Just Cause law prevents landlord from evicting and from not renewing leases to tenants unless they are removing their property from the rental market or they are um, they need the property for major renovation renovations or or they are <laughs> or they are uh, they are putting a family member to live in the property so of course when we filed our notice of non-renewal uh, our notice of non-renewal of lease I'm sorry I'm really tired when we filed that notice of notice of non-renewal of lease, we filed it in June, and the law came into effect sometime in September, October, 
others. Anyway, long story short, um, obviously the law should not affect anybody that was that put their filing before the law was in effect, right? Now, because of the moratorium, there was a backlog. The court system were backlog the number of evictions were out of control the court dates were so many that the courts couldn't keep up we filed in june we got a court date in, in december do you understand how backlog this was do you understand how backlog the court system is and i've heard and i've seen that some judges are forcing landlords to start over the process all those landlords who filed before that just cause law are being turned away in court saying to refile under the new just cause law. And it's like, what? And it's, and so I've, I've looked up a little bit. It's like, how does, is there appeals? Like, how does it work? And no, literally we are sitting duck. There's nothing anybody can do about it. And it's making me so nervous that we're going to fall on a nonsensical judge. Just like the judge we got for the rent escrow. A stupid judge who allowed this rent escrow on broken doorknobs to go through. There is nothing more in this life that irritates me than incompetence. Mediocracy is my kryptonite. There is nothing more infuriating than someone who's incompetent. Incompetence irritates me. Irritates me. Because I don't understand. We live in a world where you have all the information in front of you. And also we are in a world where if you are in a position of power or influence, what you say, what you do carries so much more weight. Your responsibility the, the weight of your crown is real. You can't be a judge and be half-ass because your decisions carry heavy, heavy weight. If you're a person out there in a position of influence, have morals or integrity. And if you're not ready for that job, step down. I understand we're all human. We all make mistakes, we're all tired. But when people's livelihood, lives are in the balance, you cannot afford that. I run a business, I have a business, and I deal with people's bodies. And when I'm not okay, I cancel. I don't try to push through because, because I'm dealing with people's bodies. I cannot afford to make a mistake. I can't afford to hurt people. I can't afford it. I can't just nonchalantly not care. I have to care. Because it's people's bodies. They only have one body. <sighs> anyway, that's my rant. Every time I get a little something, she sensed it and she senses it and then she comes over and she acts up like the way she acts. She's like, don't, daddy, don't be sad. Don't be sad. And then look, look, she's, she's like flopped. Look at that. <laughs> she's not allowed on the couch um, because she says uh, it's too much work to clean. Anyway, that's that. I apologize for the two minute stuff with the dog, which I'm not going to edit out because, you know, people like puppies and I want more views and more likes and more subscribe because you're going to click like and you're going to subscribe. <laughs> I'm such a mess. Uh, how's that? How's that? I'm going to bed. I'm going to, I was watching, um, a documentary about the mind and the brain. I'm always learning, always learn because if you're not learning, then what, what are you doing? If you're not learning, what are you doing? Knowledge is power. Do you not want power? <laughs> Lefties. <laughs>